my Wolfpack, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Legends Arceus playthrough. So, yes, I left it on the cliffhanger last episode. Go check out if you haven't done so already. But I'm going to say, if we can get to 10 likes, 10 likes within two hours of this episode going live, I will put the first five episodes. So you've had episode one and two. I'll put the next three episodes out in the next six hours. So I'll put the rest of them up today. So you will have the opportunity to watch these as you please. Um, but you've got the first five. And I'm going to be recording, recording, recording this playthrough to get it out for you guys in the future. The next day. Knock, knock. Good morning, midnight. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial, so uh, let's give it a roll. She's not convinced that I'm going to do this. Where are my shoes? Who stole my flip-flops? Where are my flip-flops? It's a dresser of very solid construction. Construction? Yeah. I can talk. What lovely weather we've got. Hope you had a nice sleep. Even if it lands in this land is strange and new to you. I slept like a dream. Close my eyes and I was open the next second. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Slowly is waiting. Raisha! I love how this woman is like <laughs> brushing the dirt. <laughs> like Yes, we want to smooth out this dirt. <laughs> oh, just why? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is fun. That's some awesome music. Survey corpse officers are here in the first floor. Well, who's this? Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. It's Priscilla, did I say? The wild Pokemon, they... They were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my party Pokemon, but I guess the whole pack outnumbered. This is what happens when you go that far afield. But the medical corpse will put you to rights. That man's with the security corpse. And even with his own partner, he took a beating from the wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Captain Silene, Midnight is here. Oh, that is a lot of stuff. You may enter. Let's just get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My child should be simple enough for him. If, it's, if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must pr prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. She's got an Abra there as well. I will lend you one of our Survey Corp satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Oh, nice. My ninja star's in there. That satchel doesn't exactly match your uh, mode of dress. Akari, I expect you to step in if anything goes awry. The entry trial. Missions must be through these progress in the adventure while requests are optional. Oh, nice. So we've got, like, side quests as well, which is fantastic. Pardon, Midnight, come with me a moment. You're going to give me my first Pokemon! I love that I finished the first episode without even getting my first Pokemon. Now then, a jolly good morning to everybody. Is something the matter, Professor Lee Leverton? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in the unforgetting land, Midnight absolutely must pass this trial. As a <laughs> professor of Pokemon, I've got to just just take it to help him accomplish that. Yeah! Ooh. Oh! Blush, blush! Go on, Midnight. Pick the whichever strikes your fancy. With a partner? Yes! Well, my boy, which Pokemon I am going to? So, I've seen the final evolutions. Sin well, I want Hisui and Growlithe, so I can't do Cyndaquil, even though I think that's the best one, in my opinion. 
Rowler, I don't really like its final evolution, but Oshawott uh, is going to be the one that I take on here. So, Oshawott is who I want. Can I give you a name? And with that, one of the, one of the Pokemon you caught a prelude, prelude beach, oh my god, for me when I'll be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked off what back inside this Pokeball for you. So take it, it's yours. We've got Oshiwat. Can we name it, please? I want to name it. No! <laughs> Word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when they're out in the field. Brrr. Boom. It looks as if they're cheering you on their friend Washawat. Or perhaps they're jealous they didn't get to go on the trial. They could well be. They did go dashing from the village when midnight fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. By the by, what species does Captain Silene challenge you were catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of this species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, trial then. Another 20, nice. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they'd work the treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have the, to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after the exit of the headquarters, then head for the gate. Yeah, I'm ready. I am ready. And this game seems to potentially be all about catching Pokemon, which I think... Hasn't been a huge focus of the recent Pokemon games. It's like becoming champion has been the focus. Whereas this one, obviously, there's no Elite Four or anything, so there's not going to be any champion uh, kind of situation. Like, there's not really battles per se. I don't think. I imagine there probably will be something. Oh, hello. You're a random person. You look colourful, so that means you do something. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. Come up from you. I'm Volo, the Gringo Guild. The go-to choice for any of your merchant type need here is in Kisui. Heard talk about you. Heard from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, you you got you have a Pokemon. Certainly full of interesting surprises. In <laughs> investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant success. So would you say? How about you and I have our Pokemon stand up to one. Oh, it's a battle! Yeah, okay. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. You have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though, I hope you ha you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP hit reaches zero. Okay, so. How do we battle in this game? Is it the same as usual? No, it's not the same as usual. Is it turn based? Oh, it's Togepi. What a stance. Okay, so I can fight, I can tackle. That's all I can do. Wow, tackle! <laughs> Use tackle! Oh, well, HP is really high in this game. So the stats don't seem to follow the same conventions at all. Bye, Togepi! Battle decided. Okay, so it doesn't say battle one. Moves, items, use them well. The <laughs> field will open up to you. Oh, nice. And a new move. What's the new move? Oh, it doesn't tell you. It's always good to use your Pokemon and do battle, doesn't you think? As they gain experience with battle, they'll learn new more moves and grow even stronger. So Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel. Oh, okay. Okay. So few people have their own Pokemon. If only more pe people knew how to use Pokeballs. Well, in the future, everyone knows how to. At any rate, let me ha help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. And to you, my Skullfallen friend, I present some potions in thanks. Oh, thank you. Five potions, yes. And it heals 60 in this game. Nice. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might feel worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful in that trial of yours. More Galaxy Team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. Wow. So this game is getting it going. 
that's really something. Not only do you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands. We are leaving Jubilife Village. Make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell Rest the Garbon where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if your Pokemon are knocked out by a battle. Nice. Your trial begins just a short way past the front gate. So, oh, I'm running into you. <laughs> She's going to be my lover. Your trial takes place outside, so, oh, nice. So we got these, so we, it looks like we're going to have a variety of different areas. So this, obviously, is where Jubilife City would be. So down here would be like Sand Gem. That's probably got to be Lake Verity then. These are all covered over, so I'm, like, trying to figure out where everything would be. This is where, like, Sunny Shore would be. So this area is all, like, where Aubra would end up being. I think. <laughs> oh, that is a cool animation at the bottom there. This is our base camp. The last safe haven before you co reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Ah, uh, well, you see, Captain Sarlene got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for what happens to our sudden guest. That's our unsparing captain. Our sparing captain. But what help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Midnight's talents are the real deal. He's passed by flying colours, you'll see. Ah, so the responsibility still with him, for him still lies, in fact, with me, then. Well, I'm sure Midnight will be fine. Let's begin the trial. I will be fine. I'm fine! Right, okay. So, oh, can I stop? not stop every, like, ten seconds? My gasp. This is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you meant to catch all live here. That actually looks pretty cool. That is really beautiful. That's really pretty. And along comes a bit of Time to get ready to catch it. Oh, you're going to like hold my hand whilst I catch these as well. The key is to aim carefully. Now you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Yeah, I know, I know. But if it has a mellow disposition, that means it tends not to run for people, so this should be easy. So, it's over here. Oh no, she's over here. There we go! Easy! Easy. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna hold my hand through all of this. Come on, I don't. I want to explore. I want to go and do things. Oh, you're gonna tell me I can't go that way? Yeah, I. I don't care. I don't want to be with you. I want to just throw pokeballs at things. I'm guessing there's a Starly. Here comes a Starly. These sketch little things. They'll run if startled. You're going to teach me about the stealth mechanic now, I assume. Press B. As soon as you get close to them, if you crouch, it'll be hard to spot. So, press B button to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button to enter eyes. If you're to talk with us um, while crouch low, it'll be even harder for wild Pokemon to detect. Okay. So, let's... Oh, God, I almost... No, come on. Get in the ball. Starly was not startled. There we go. You see, I'm just I'm just a pro. I'm just a pro, pro, pro. That's Starly cool as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. I mean, yeah, I'm like fantastic at this game. Well, I'm guessing a Shinx is going to probably appear. I've got there's something I want to teach you. You see, you're still new to this. Probably way to throw your partner's Pokeball. So, Captain Silent says, have you, um, want to spend that Pokemon, press X. Oh, 
Have Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw an item, press X. Captain's a real expert on these things. Try throwing the, your Pokeball rock. Oh, sorry, your, your Pokemon's ball at rocks. Or trees like this one. To have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. Okay, so... Alright. How do I how do I throw it? How do I like I'm guessing like there's another button. How do I throw it? Okay, I see, I see. Okay, now I see. Okay, that makes sense now. <laughs> I do know where I'm going. I'm just having some fun. There, that's a Shinx. I'm guessing we're going to have to battle. She has an aggressive disposition. Can you already tell that? More or less. I thought you might. I can never tell, tell until I focus on the Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. So Z L to focus. Uh... Okay, don't worry though. I'll teach you a trick to catch aggressive Pokemon. You got to battle them. Once they're absorbed, sorry. Once they're absorbed, absorbed with battling. Oh, okay. I see. Once they're in the battle. By now, you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near to the wild Pokemon we want to battle. Got no doubt you'll hold your own in the battle. Yeah, okay. But can you actually... It's irate. Ah. Okay. <laughs> I really picked the wrong one for this, didn't I? But it's not going to have... Wow, that did a lot of damage. Oh, wait. Can I change my... Let's see. Like, I'm getting used to the uh, mechanics here. Oh, no. I don't want to check something. I want to... Yeah. Oh, wait. Can I not swap you? Can I not switch you in? Apparently I can't. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh! Wait, no. Oh, no, that just stays on. Okay. Oh, okay. So, if I do this, and I throw a Pokeball at it, is that going to catch it? I'm confused, honestly. The mechanics are different, so I'm trying to figure these out. You approach that Pokeball with a hit of fear, you call each one. You like a gift the sky dropped to us. It's Arceus. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps have a real chance of completing a challenge... Completing a... Compiling a complete Pokedex <laughs> you've ordered. This is wonderful. I'm still curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did. But for now, let's tell the Professor we're ready to head back. Nice. Wonderful! Oh, I said you passed the trial with flying colours, and it seems you wouldn't just did that. Congratulations, Midnight. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Do you have to get that film developed later? 
With skills like yours, I suppose that- Oh no. <laughs> this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we best report to Captain Sileen. Time to head back to Jubilee City, eh? Or village, eh? <laughs> I'm awful at reading. Like, my reading skills have really got bad. <laughs> recently. I do not know why. In time, you'll be able to send a Pokemon you've caught to live in the village pa pastures. You can bring six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory. Though, we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Because you're all noobs. Come now, you two. There's not Diddy's Alley. Captain Sunning awaits our reports at headquarters. I bet Captain, I bet Captain Sunning will be very pleased. She probably, hopefully, will be. What is that? A spiced apricot. Nice. In we go. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations. You've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourselves could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Nice. Get changed to the room you used last night. Then you, then you're to report one at uh, once the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. That is your first official order from your captain. Okay. Let's go get changed. Let's go get changed. At least you didn't tell me to get changed in front of her, because you know, that would be weird. <laughs> that would be very strange. I'm guessing, okay. Oh, in the mirror. Oh, lovely stones, okay. Yes. Right, okay. Okay. Oh, nice. Yes, anything else? Oh, there's stuff here. Oh, I can change my colour. I'm green. I've got green eyes, so. Yeah. And B to finish changing. Yes. Although the shoes are a bit interesting, to say the least. <laughs> you changed your survey corpse uniform. Alright, let's go and see. Who was our commander? Is it like Mars? Oh, we're already back. Okay. It really suits you. It's almost as if the captain tailored it just for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use that room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. I, I mean, I'm already wearing something. <gasps> it's a hat! Your hair, your scruffy hair, was it irritating me? <laughs> Now, present yourself to the commander on the third floor. Okay, so... Do, 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 It's commando, okay, in his office. So I'm assuming... I'm, like, going up here? Yeah. Oh, this place is huge. There's also a lot of wasted space there. Who are you? Oh, look! It's a man! <laughs> I've been waiting for you. I am Commando, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. He's going to be a bad guy. Hmm. So you are Midnight. Yes, sir. <laughs> hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're... Face me. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> he just threw me. Hmm. You got some fighting. You. Your assuming needs work, but I do see some potential. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was just going in for it. Like, yeah. 
Joey Spade, a warm welcome for everyone. Naturally, someone we slowly to trust an outsider who literally fell out of the, out of the blue. Superstitious among us might see your arrival as a post report of something of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how old you may seem, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of te Galaxy Team, Galaxy Exhibition Team. Get and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Midnight. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Entry trial complete! We did our first mission. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, the commander has also accepted you. But understand this. You begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you'll move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer to your, that goal of yours, to seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you'll need this. A recipe for crafting? Oh, nice. One Apricorn and one Tumblestone, okay. And 3,000 as well, you may... Having to buy necessary materials. Okay, okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. Akara, you're an expert on crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit everything he needs to know. Of course, Captain Silene. Now, as an experienced craftsman here, craftsman here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting seems making crafting means making up myself with your own two hands. But you can buy some items in the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can even make the most valuable tools. Pokeballs. Think where we'd be if... We couldn't do that. Let's head to the Craftworks. The basics of crafting is my new mission. And with that, I am going to finish off episode 2. We'll learn how to craft in episode 3. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please do like, subscribe and comment. Let me know everything down in the comment section below. What are you enjoying so far? What do you think of my starter? And yeah, we'll finish it off there. So have a good one and I'll see you soon.